there's just some questions I would love to ask your intuition about what's GPT able to do and not. So it's allocating approximately the same amount of compute for each token it generates. Is there room there in this kind of approach to slower thinking, sequential yeah. thinking? I think there will be a new paradigm for that kind of thinking. Will it be similar like architecturally as what we're seeing now with LLMs? Is it a layer on top of the LLMs? Uh, I can imagine many ways to implement that. I think that's less important than the question you were getting at, which is, do we need a way to do a slower kind of thinking where the answer doesn't have to get like, you know, it's like, like I guess like spiritually, you could say that you want an AI to be able to think harder about a harder problem right. and answer more quickly about an easier problem. And I think that will be important. Is that like a human thought that we're just having, you should be able to think hard? Is that a wrong intuition? I suspect that's a reasonable intuition. Interesting. Yeah. So it's not possible once the GPT gets like GPT-7, would just be instantaneously be able to see, you know, here's here's the proof for from our stem. It seems to me like you want to be able to allocate more compute to harder problems. Like, it seems to me that a system knowing, if, if you ask a system like that, prove from us last theorem versus what's today's date? Unless it already knew and had memorized the answer to the proof, assuming it's got to go figure that out, seems like that will take more compute. But can it look like a basically LLM talking to itself, that kind of thing? Maybe. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could imagine working. What, like, what the right or the best way to do that will be, uh, we don't know. This does make me think of the mysterious the lore behind Q-Star. <laughs> What's this mysterious Q-Star project? Is it also in the same nuclear facility? Uh, there is no nuclear facility. Mm -hmm. That's what a person with a nuclear facility always says. I would love to have a secret nuclear facility. <laughs> there isn't one. All right. Uh, Maybe uh, someday. Someday? All right. <laughs> one can dream. Open AI is not a good company at keeping secrets. It would be nice. You know, we're like been plagued by a lot of leaks and... And it would be nice if we were able to have something like that. Can you speak to what QSTAR is? We are not ready to talk about that. See, but an answer like that means there's something to talk about. It's very mysterious, Sam. I mean, we work on all kinds of research. Yeah. Uh, we have said for a while that we think better reasoning in these systems is an important direction that we'd like to pursue. We haven't cracked the code yet. Uh, we're, in, we're very interested in it. Is there going to be moments, QSTAR or otherwise, where there's going to be leaps similar to ChatGPT, where you're like... That's a good question. Um, what do I think about that? It's interesting. To me, it all feels pretty continuous. All right, this is kind of a theme that you're saying is there's a gradual, you're basically gradually going up an exponential slope. But from an outsider's perspective, for me just watching it, it does feel like there's leaps. But to you, there isn't. I do wonder if we should have, so you know, part of the reason that we deploy the way we do is that we think, um, we call it iterative deployment. We, uh, Rather than go build in secret until we got all the way to GPT-5, we decided to talk about GPT-1, 2, 3, and 4. And part of the reason there is I think AI and surprise don't go together. And also the world, people, institutions, whatever you want to call it, need time to adapt and think about these things. And I think one of the best things that OpenAI has done is this strategy. And we, we get the world to pay attention to the progress, to take AGI seriously, to think about what systems and structures and governance we want in place before we're like under the gun and have to make a rush decision. I think that's really good. But the fact that people like you and others say um, you still feel like there are these leaps makes me think that maybe we should be doing our releasing even more iteratively. I don't know what that would mean. I don't have an answer ready to go. But like our goal is not to have shock updates to the world. The opposite. 
Yeah, for sure. More iter iterative would be amazing. I think that's just beautiful for everybody. But that's what we're trying to do. That's like our state of the strategy. And I think we're somehow missing the mark. So maybe we should think about, you know, releasing GPT-5 in a different way or something like that. Yeah, 4.71, 4.72. But people tend to like to celebrate. People celebrate birthdays. I don't know if you know humans, but they kind of have these uh, milestones. And all I do know stuff. some humans. Um, people do like milestones. I, uh, I totally get that. I think we like milestones too. It's like fun to, you know, say declare victory on this one and go start the next thing. But, but yeah, I feel like we're somehow getting this a little bit wrong.